Yo, what's going on guys? We're back for another video. For today's video, I'm going to be starting some squad builders. So, what way to kick it off than, you know, doing something cheap, something affordable. Just because, you know, there's going to be Team of Seasons that's going to come out and there's going to be market crashes soon. So, if you guys are looking for a pretty cheap team that's reliable and solid, then here it is. This is going to be 50k, uh, you know, just a little 50k cheap French team. It's all French, all national French team, and it's honestly pretty solid. I played a couple games with it, and I played a lot of games with the players, like by themselves, like individually in separate teams and everything. And they play amazing, so I decided to compile all these players and put them all in one team. Now, keep in mind that some players will go down in price, some will go up, some will go down. So it could either be 40k one day or 60k another day. So it all just depends on the market, especially after rewards and after um, or before weekend league. You know, it's going to be a bit more expensive, but after weekend league, it's going to be more cheaper. So, you know, just keep an eye out for it. But we're going to start things off with the defense here. We're just going to put all the players and I will give you guys, you know, more expensive alternatives if you guys do want that. And if not, then we'll just keep it as is. But for the defense, we're going with Ariola at goalkeeper. And then we're going to go with Mal Maltui, as the commentator said, um, at right back. Two center backs, Kimpembe and Lucas Hernandez. And then at left back, we do have Theo Hernandez. All of these cards are pretty solid for the price, especially um, Theo or Lucas Hernandez and the goalkeeper. They're really good players. And Kimpembe as well, he has some really good tackling stats. And I mean, it doesn't really show that, like, it's that good on paper, but he has good and strong tackles. And Lucas Hernandez, really fast defender. 81 speed is pretty good for a defender. And this is just a solid defense and just really, really good. I mean, if it's Division 1, it might be a bit, you know, outdated. But this is a really good team if, you know, you're just trying to play a couple games, play a couple squad battle games just while the market adjusts and just, like, you know, get a little market crash team. But moving on to the midfield, where I did decide to get Sissoko, Ndombele, Dembele, Tony Martial, and Nabi Fakir. And if you guys do remember, Fakir was a really good player at the start of the game, and he is pretty decent still. You know, but I want to say decent because a lot of people's defenses just got way better as time went on, and so it wasn't as effective, but he's still a really good budget uh, center attack mid. And if you have some more coins, you can go with Griezmann. Obviously, is a more expensive alternative, but that's like 40, 50k right there. So, I mean, it's if you guys want, but this is a budget team, so we only went with some cheap alternatives. Dembele, really good player, still is a really good player, despite everybody's defenses. Really fast as well, and he's just amazing on the ball. Tony Martial as well. He, I mean, he's a really good player. He's been a really good player. If you put a sniper card on him or something that improves his shooting, then he will just be lights out. Um, and Dombele and Sissoko, really good players as well. I used Sissoko before and I didn't like him, but then I put a anchor card on him and he just felt different, like in a good way, in a really good way. So I just fell in love with him and started using him. And then for Ndombele, I've always liked him. He, he's like really a cheap alternative to Kante. So... Some upgrades for the team, I mean, you could put Langlet, Loris, um, then you could put Mendy as a left back, and then for the other center back, you could put Varane, and then for CDMs, you could obviously put Kante, Pogba, and then for Cams, you could put, you know, Griezmann, Mbappe, players like that. For right mid, I think Dembele is probably the best French one, if I'm not mistaken. And then for left mid, I believe Tony Martial is one of the highest rated ones, but not the highest rated one. But for striker, we did go with Ben Yedder, the beast, the man himself, Ben Yedder. You could also use, you know, Benzema, but who wants to use Benzema, you know? Or Thierry Henry, that's a really good alternative too. But 50k once again, so, you know. But this team, out of 10, I want to give it like probably a 9 out of 10. It lacks some, you know, just a little bit of strength. In terms of the fullbacks, I feel like they're a bit weak, so Mendy would be way better, in my opinion. But nevertheless, if you just put like a Sentinel card on both of them or something, then they will just improve. So going out to the clips, I just decided to play one game with this team because I already know how most of the players play because I've played with them individually. And it's honestly just a really good team, as I did say. Here at Tony Martial, just easy finish. And 
you know, doesn't get any easier than that. This team just amazing for its price and worth every penny. And I'm going to keep it too, you know, because half the players I did have, I didn't have to buy because I already had them in my team. So something, you know, something chill, not too expensive. But when Team of the Season does come out, I will be using this team. So I will be selling everything just for Team of the Season because I know that the market does go down every time. And every year the market, you know, especially when Prime Icon, Prime not prime icons but um prime moments or whatever prime moment icons come out then that's when prices are going to go a bit low especially for, you know prime icons and mid icons are going to go way low like they did when the prime icons came out that's a lot of prime icons in one sentence like one long sentence but anyways we'll just see i'm i really like this team so i might just put griezmann in and then Conte, and then just leave it as is and langlet and Baron. But other than that, the team is really solid. Just, you know, a couple. It could improve on the defensive side, but I feel like Sissoko and Dombele do a really good job of staying back, so you don't really need to. But if you just don't feel comfortable with the defense, you could obviously go with players like Conte or Matuidi or what's his name, um, Pogba. But I would play Pogba kind of like a, as a center mid, in my opinion, but I haven't really played him that much in CDM. I did last year, and he was decent, but just not his tackles weren't really as good for me for other people they might be you know spot on but that's just my opinion but another player really good player is Mbappe and Mbappe is Mbappe you guys already know how good he is and if you don't then he's just lights out this year so I'm gonna start doing theme teams as well so stay tuned for that and that's gonna be starting next week I believe we'll just have to see with everything how it goes and yeah if you guys have any recommendations for teams I should do just leave it in the comments below Anything I can do to improve my channel, just leave in the comments below. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all, all the thumbs up, everything. And yeah, subscribe if you're new here. Leave a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.